In the previous units, we processed soil and land use data to end up with two rasters. One is for land use and we reclassified that into four different land use types. And then we have the soil raster again with four different hydrologic soil groups. What I have done in the table of content is I have unchecked all the other data sets that I have in my project and you do that too. So what we are going to do now is we are just going to pick any cell in this map and once I pick a cell I will see the land use value which is 4. So 4 was for agriculture and soil is 2 which means the soil hydrologic group is type B. So usually in practice what we do is once you know the land use and soil you go to a lookup table similar to what you see here and so for example if the land use was commercial and the soil group was D then your CN number for that particular area is 95. So in order to process the land use and soil raster to create the current number grid what we have to do is we have to go through each cell find what the land use is and the soil is and pick a value from that. So that involves a lot of if statements or conditional statements. So to simplify that process what we are going to do is we are going to use one of the tools in Spatial Analyst and run all these queries just one time. And also to make our job easier instead of typing that query that query is provided to us in the data set. So if you go back and open the CN query text file that is provided to you you will see the long query that we are going to use. So again basically this query says if the soil is 1 which is hydrologic group A then the curve number is 100. If, if the soil is 2 or hydrologic soil group is B and the land use is water then the curve number is 57 and so on. So what we have is a very long statement here that we are going to use in raster calculator in spatial analyst. So to run this query let's go ahead and use the raster calculator under spatial analyst tool. So you go to geoprocessing spatial analyst tool then you will find map algebra and under map algebra you will find raster calculator. So instead of creating our own expression here we are just going to copy the expression from the text file and paste it here. In order for this query to work, you want to make sure that you have your soil raster named as soil and your land use raster named as LU class. That's what this query uses. If you use different names for your soil and land use, the final processed land use and soil raster, you can replace the name of soil and LU class in the query and then use it. So as long as you have the raster that you are using in your query present in this list, this query should work. And then we are going to name our output raster as CN grid and we'll make sure that it doesn't get stored inside a geo database. So we will store it at the same location where we have saved our soil and land use raster. So we are going to name it as CN grid and save. and simply run the tool. And after the process is complete, you get this beautiful curve number grid map. So this is how you can create a CN grid map by using soil and land use data. If you click anywhere, it will give you the curve number. If you want, you can see what the land use is and soil is also at that particular location. 
I have unchecked all the other data sets that we have in our map. So the only data sets that are visible to us after we click is the curve number grid, the land use and soil. So this is it for this module. I hope you learn how to create curve number grid by using soil and land use data. Save your project and you are done with this module.